Okay, it's Saturday, September 16th. We have not tried the car out with the new valve springs just yet. Um, we, I told you in the last video we have an issue with the brakes not releasing completely. I was thinking there was an issue causing all four of them to drag, but now I'm thinking the, the most of the problem is in the passenger side front. Because this side, you can feel some drag, maybe a little more than I would like, but it is disc brakes. So it's not really that bad. Maybe it's as good as it's going to get as far as that goes. That's not too bad. I can spin that pretty freely and almost get some spin out of it. This side's a different story. As you can see, I really got to push on it. So that's why this car won't even creep in idle. And as you know, I have it idled kind of fast. So... We're going to take this side off and see if we can find a problem. Another thing I thought it was, probably something I still should do is, I'm not running a proportioning valve on this. Well, I kind of am. Uh, as you can see how it's plumbed, the rear line on the master cylinder goes into that adjustable portion, proportioning valve there, and it feeds through that line and goes to the rear brakes. Front line just goes into the line lock, if you can see the line lock, yes you can, and straight out to the brakes. No, and it just tees out. You see this line goes into the front there, then you see that line come out. Where does it come from? Hang on, there we go, yeah, it comes out the left hand side there, curls around and into that T fitting down there. If you can see it, I don't know if you can, you can now, and that just goes into each brake. So I need to figure out why it's not releasing. It may be because I'm not running any proportioning valve at all, or it might be just an issue with these. Uh, actually, I don't remember having this kind of a problem, and I feel like that this is actually why the car is running slow numbers right off the trailer and then picking up later maybe I'm not sure but it definitely needs to be addressed we'll see if we can't figure out what's going on and we'll see if it makes the car more consistent Okay, we've unhooked the brake line which goes in through here and you still cannot budge it. I tried to break in loose all four bleeder screws. It's a four piston caliper, two up top, two on bottom. Still not letting go. So I guess the caliper's sticking. I'm going to go ahead and take it off, see what we can find here. And um, hopefully we can get it to unstick. I may have to order a rebuild kit. I still want to put the proportioning valve on it and I've seen one on Summit online that I want to get what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get rid of the proportioning valve that goes only to the rear and we'll plumb it into a four-way proportioning valve and of course the two fronts will hopefully my line lock isn't caught well it shouldn't if my line lock was causing it it would cause both of them to do it because the driver side isn't so bad we'll see if we can get it to working better Alright, I've never had one of these type calipers apart before, so bear with me. It looks like these four screws, Allen screws, as they're called, take the, both the caliper together, it's in two halves, and I guess the pistons can be pulled out. Let's we'll see what they look like, see if I can't unstick them. If the seals look okay, I may try to put them back together, just clean everything out and see if I can keep it from sticking. Maybe I end up ordering a new caliper. I don't really know just yet. I still want to do that with a proportioning valve. I, I believe that could play a factor in that. 
Something I did a long time ago and didn't think I was having trouble with. Who knows, maybe it never has worked right. I know it was never that sticky though. Something's definitely going on with that. There want a little spacer. There's little spacers in there. Is that? Got two spacers here. One here and one here rather. Got these little washers that were under the bolts. Put them back in their place so I don't forget. Now I guess, I'm not sure if I can pull them out or not. Okay, I figured out how to get them apart. There's really not much to them. I've already got the other side apart, or other half of this copper apart. Got one piston out. It's pretty easy. Uh, I don't recommend blowing it out with air. Unless you still got the two halves together, you might try it that way. Still not sure if that's a good idea because these things will really come out of there. What I do is you get it, get a little hold of it, of the piston. All the, the pistons look like this. It's just a cup. And it helps if you spin it around. And my vice grips may pop off here. You don't want to clamp too far down on the surface that's going to actually go down in the bore because you could kind of bend it. It helps if you get a grip on both sides. They're pretty tough, so you can put some pressure on them. Now this one's going to be harder than the rest of them to come out. There we go. Just pop it out like that, and that's it. Comes out like that, and I'm not sure why this was sticking. Uh, the other side, I went ahead and took the seals out, and I couldn't really see. It wasn't hanging if you take the seals out. And here's the seals. They go. If you can see what I'm doing here, yeah. they're in a slot in the bore. Just a flat, just a squared um, edge seal. Looks like that right there. There's one for each bore, of course. And the only other seal is an O-ring seal, which goes in the other half. And here it is. It goes right there. If I can find a rebuild kit for this, I will put new seals in it. Honestly, I don't think it'd hurt for me to clean everything up and put these seals back in it. But we'll look for a kit because I'm going to order that uh, proportioning valve I was talking about. We'll go ahead and do that. Because honestly, I don't see a reason for this caliber to hang because seals are good and soft still. And why this one side was hanging and not the other, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and do that thing with the proportion valve and we'll hopefully get this thing working right. But I'm going to stick this down in here with no seal. As you can see, it's not... I was thinking maybe it got dirty and grungy up in there, but um, it's falling right down in the bore. So, for some reason, and there's no kind of check valve that I know of in the bleeder screws here, and you got a passage in here. Here's the other passage. Um, no check valves that I know of in there. So, I'm not sure why this one was sticking so bad. But we're going to put a rebuild kit in it, or at least put it back together. And see what happens. Ah, here's another rubber O-ring and the spacers. Okay. Got an O-ring there. And it looks like I need to find... Okay, so we got three rubber O-rings here. You got one in this. One goes in this spacer, which I have just put in there. And I got another one. I need to find out where it went because it probably fell on the floor or something. But, if I order the kit, it won't matter if I find it. So, we'll have to continue this video after I get my parts in.